Longboat key, Jewfish key, noise, and more noise. What's that all about? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I am the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick. We're part of that great Mangrove Realty Associates family. My guest this morning is Mr. Steve Reed. Hey, Steve, good morning. Welcome. Let me warn you, he's not had enough coffee this morning, so but he is wound up. Steve is the owner <laughs> and the publisher of the Longbow Key News and the Sarasota City News, and we've got something to talk about. What's well, going on? We got a lot. All right, this this to to situate ourselves, we're on the north end of Longboat. The magical, mystical North End, the historical village, the oldest residential area of Longbow Key sprawls off to the south. And here on the North End, the residents really love their residential lifestyle. Small. It's, it's laid back. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Um, it's For the most part. Something to, well, it has been. Until you piss them off. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Until we upset them. All right. And here's what happened. Restaurant parking upsets the villagers. The other thing that really upsets them is really busy boating activity. Um, right. We're in probably one of the prettiest spots in the area. You have the confluence of the intercoastal on the other side of Jewfish Key. Boaters like to come along the channel here. You have Moore's, Old Moore's Restaurant, now the shore. You have Michael Saunders' old Land's End property, about three to four acres on the northern tip. And around the corner of the key, you have the bridge. So what happens is on busy weekends, boaters come from everywhere and go to the um, sandbar in front of Jewfish Key, and then they go at the base of the bridge at Beer Can Island, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. The residents are going bananas. Dozens and dozens of long it, boaters and complaining. And that's because the noise level is going up. It's getting but, more crowded, getting noisy. And even above it, they're bringing jet skis. Stereos are getting better post-COVID pent-up joy and energy. Yeah, absolutely. People are going bananas. Stereos are really good too these days. So these people are coming. There's a there's a boat with a slide. There's dogs. There's barbecuing. All these issues. There's no public bathrooms. So the residents are very upset. Adding to the twist is the city, the town of Longboat Key, isn't enforcing its noise ordinance. Okay. It took the position that it's intercoastal water. Town recently voted to change that. The town of Longbow Key is now going to police these waters. They're going to use their jurisdictional authority to write tickets to these boaters for the first time in this area. So okay. we'll see what happens. So this, again, is a reaction because noise level's gone up. Residents yes. aren't happy, understandable. So how do we find the balance between the entertainment value of being on the water, the recreational value, and also the privacy and concerns that homeowners want? So that's the key here. That's the... Uh, detail of this video that's um, we want to bring that message out there will be a link below feel free to click on it share your thoughts what should we do as we move forward as a tunnel longboat key steve any partying comments partying comments fourth of july is the weekend to look for the town wants to have its police force in place its marine patrols in place for what it expects to be a really busy weekend and um and the final comment is people do have the right to be in their boats yes they just can't blare their music so non-stop it's, it's about balance we have to find the balance so we'll come back we'll keep you updated on this thanks for watching until next time this is mike renning take care everyone take care